What's going on, Genius Nation? Welcome to a brand new day. This is The Daily Genius, and I am Dr. Will. I'm always super excited that you are here joining us on uh, our morning get up, our morning get together, whether you are watching this live or watching this on the replay. I'm always super excited that you are engaging in the group, that you're hanging out with us, that you're taking this information, you're implementing it into your life so you can become the best version of yourself and create the life that you love. If you're watching this outside of our nation. When I talk about the nation, I'm talking about our Facebook, private Facebook group of over 1,000 individuals that are committed to living their best life and becoming a better version of themselves. If that sounds like you and you want to get tips to strategies and information to assist you on this journey, then there's a link right in the description where you can join the nation. We would love for you to become a part of the Genius Nation Family, you're watching The Daily Genius, and what The Daily Genius is, is my commitment of doing 365 live videos inside our private group, inside this private group called Genius Nation. I'm showing up for 365 days, and this is episode number 100. And 12. So we've done this over 100 days. How exciting is that to be committed to something, to see it all the way through? So once again, thank you for joining us uh, in the group. I see you guys coming in. And thank you for all of you that will watch this um, that will watch this uh, later on. If you are watching this on uh, YouTube, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and hit the notification. So you'll get the notification when we go live every morning. So Thursday, we have dubbed Thursday, Think Big, Think Big Thursday. And so what we're going to be doing on Thursday is I'm going to just be sharing with you inspirational people that I think uh, will be an inspiration to you, be a motivation to you, people that um, have been definitely an inspiration in my life, but I think if you went and um, uh, uh, studied them, researched them, and found out more about their story, you would be inspired as well. And so I'm super excited today to talk about a gentleman um, that definitely has inspired me and inspired a lot of other people, a gentleman by the name of Herman J. Russell. Herman J. Russell. Herman J. Russell, uh, before his passing, was a very prominent businessman in the uh, Atlanta area and also nationwide. His his uh, demonstration of commitment, his demonstration of faithfulness to his mission and vision has inspired thousands, if not millions of people across the nation. I came across Herman J. Russell uh, probably about 20, 20 years ago uh, when I was on this journey to read uh, successful biographies. And um, I've, I've read something like 700 successful biographies of individuals that we would deem successful, have broken the barrier, have achieved uh, amazing things. And so I came across Herman J. Russell, and I remember 20 years or so ago reading about his story. He was an uh, individual that was born, I believe, in 1930. So I just want you, he's an African-American entrepreneur. So I want you to think about the time frame, 1930, where America was in that, you know, in that place in history. And here was a, a gentleman, by the time he was 15 or 16, had this, uh, had this goal of starting a company, a construction company. And he was met with so many barriers during that time. Once again, you got the civil rights movement, you got segregation, you have all these hurdles. And so for me, um, Herman J. Russell became one of these figures where um, I used to challenge myself because Herman, throughout all the obstacles that he faced and throughout um, all the struggles that he faced, went on to build one of build the most successful uh, construction company, African-American construction company in the nation. And he's one of the individuals that I look at and I say, wait a minute, if he could do this back in 1960, if he can do this back in the 70s, 
definitely what I'm trying to do in 2024 is possible. And so Herman J. Russell is one of the individuals that I glean inspiration from. I glean motivation from. He was um, just some of the things about him. He was the first African-American um, to become a member of the Atlanta uh, Chamber of Commerce. Uh, his construction company, if you go, have ever been to the Atlanta airport, his construction company had a huge hand in building that um, uh, airport out. Many of the major uh, structures in Atlanta, the Herman J. Russell uh, company, construction company, had a hand in it. He worked with politicians to make sure that Atlanta was one of the most thriving communities in America. So if you don't personally know about Herman J. Russo, I highly, highly um, encourage you to go and Google him, uh, learn about him. He's a very, has a very um, inspirational, inspirational story. If when I think about um, won't stop, won't quit, drive, and determination. You know, our podcast, The Will to Win, when I think about The Will to Win, Herman J. Russell is one of those individuals that had the will to win. Um, I believe, I want to say the date he eventually died was in 2014, but he was able to uh, hand off his company. And we talk about legacy wealth, and we talk about generational wealth. He was able to hand off his company to uh, his two sons and his daughter. I believe he stepped down from the CEO role in 2004. And so he had 10 years to be able to oversee them and, and see the transition um, of the company, of the organization. And the company is still doing uh, amazing things. His family is still doing their very uh, uh, philanthropic. They're doing uh, amazing things in Atlanta. And that's legacy. That's legacy right there. That's generational wealth. That's impact right there. And so if that's something you are interested in, you want to create generational wealth, you want to, what I say, live longer, uh, uh, far, uh, uh, um, uh, to live uh, far after you have died, then Herman J. Russell is a great example of how you build something, how you build infrastructure, how you pass it to the next generation and how you live forever. And so I see uh, somebody in the uh, uh, chat here saying they now have the Russell Innovation Center for Entrepreneurs in Atlanta. Um, he was instrumental in the civil rights. So we have some people in the chat here that are familiar with Herman J. Russell. So once again, on this Think Bigger Thursday, um, Herman J. Russell is our spotlight. Once again, he's an individual that has uh, inspired me, I believe on YouTube. Yeah, that's where I had to see it. Um, there's a documentary about his life. I suggest that um, you go and watch it. I think it's like 20, 30 minutes or something like that. But just to see, once again, he's one of those individuals that I look at and I say, man, if Herman J. Russell was able to do it, then I can do it. If he could do it with all the barriers that he had to go through, all the obstacles that he had to face, then definitely, certainly I can do it as well. So for I think Big Thursday, our highlight is Herman J. Russell. Go learn about him, put him into your library of information and inspiration. All right, that's what I have for you today on Think Big Thursday. Go out there and be your brilliant, genius, amazing selves. Go out there and make a difference today. And I'll see you right back here tomorrow for the Daily Genius. All right, guys, have a great day.